Warning, Hebrews Toys Reviews is not intended for children. It is for adult collectors and the people over the age of 18. Everybody and welcome to yet another Hebro toy review. This is Hebro 77, and as you can see, we are going to be reviewing a Masters of the Universe toy. I'm all prepared and ready. I've got my Masters Universe hat and Masters Universe shirt on, and today's Masters Universe review will be the 2020 Walmart exclusive Masters of the Universe Masters of the Universe Origin Series Prince Adam Sky Sled the Jet Powered Rescue Rocket now this Sky Sled is very similar to the Battle Ram which you can see here I have the vintage Battle Ram. Let me get it in frame here. You guys see that? The vintage Battle Ram. And yes, I will be taking this out of the box. Get a good close up of the box here. I will be taking this out of the box in order to review the figure. But first, let's take a really good look at the box and packaging. This is something that has never been released before. This is a brand new toy. Uh, it's supposed to represent the original Sky Sled, which actually, vintage wise, we're talking about the Battle Ram, which is the vintage version of the original toy. You can see the controls here and compare them with the controls there. Now, I will be taking this out of the box, so we don't need to do that just yet. But there's a special feature on here, which I will show later, which you can convert this symbol here, which is apparently the good guy symbol, I never knew that before, and to the bad guy symbol. Because in the cartoon, <coughs> as it's displayed on the box, you can see the bad guys and good guys both had sort of the same vehicle. And I guess this was sort of a way, a way to redifferentiate we differ each the difference between the bad guys and good guys now here you have Prince Adam as you can see uh, well represented here I'm wondering if that belt it looks like maybe the belt comes I don't know and let's take a look now at the side of the box uh, you can see sort of like a vintage style looking beast man running. Uh, it looks like they might have taken that off of one of the mini comics. And now we'll look at the back of the box. As you can see this looks like it's straight off of the uh, mini comic. Now let's read the little caption here. When his friends are in danger Prince Adam leaps into onto the, his sky sled and flies into the scene or flies into the rescue. And you see like men at arms getting ready to bash uh, trap jaw there and uh, Skeletor just got hit I'm assuming he got killed just now with that sky sled um, you got beast man over here no you know and of course uh, Castle Grayskull what a great uh, picture of Castle Grayskull you got there in the background I love the box art by the way the box art is just amazing what drawings and it looks like they took a cue right from the mini comics with their drawings I, I love it there's uh, of course what the vintage toy Castle Grayskull looks like and over here it's got directions on how to use the weapon and how you change your uh, sky sled to from a good guy sky sled to an evil sky sled and here is the rest of the figures which I do have 
all of those figures featured on the box. I don't know. I, I was going to come on here and say this makes my collection of the Origin series complete, but I don't know. There might be one or two figures still left in this first wave of the Origin series. This is the first wave. So now, with no further ado, I will open the box and we will take a look at Prince Adam Sky Sled. I don't know why this doesn't say Prince Adam and Sky Sled, but anyway, I digress. Let's uh, let's take you to the review. Well, here we have the toy uh, out of the box and totally assembled as you can see here with Prince Adam standing next to it let's get a better view here is he holds his uh, Prince Adam power sword uh, the Prince Adam figure is very much so of that of the Masters Universe origin figures in that style oh, sword comes off um, Power Sword is just plain old, you know, pink Power Sword, which the original Prince Adam came with a sort of purplish Power Sword. Uh, we'll put that to the side for right now. And then you have, of course, the Prince Adam figure himself, which is approximately the same size and sculpt of the 2020 uh, Masters Universe Origins He-Man figure. And uh, as you can see, he comes with a pink vest um, with purple tights or lavender tights, however you want it, with a purple sort of like a uh, loincloth around those tights. It goes all the way around to the back. He is bendable and his leg bends at the knee ever so slightly. And his foot has a pivot, which can pivot all the way up there to all the way down at the ankle, and both feet, and the arms are attached to a ball joint onto his torso, which can, the figure can strike many poses. He could uh, hitchhike for a ride. And the hand bends at the wrist ever so slightly. And um, the head sculpt is very much that of the He Man figure, which I have in here somewhere. Um, he stands up very well. This is the Masters Universe Origins He-Man figure standing next to him for a point of reference. As you can see, the faces are very much similar. I'll move him for now. Um, just as the original toy line had He-Man, very much similar to the original Prince Adam, as you can see here. Uh, now we will remove Prince Adam for now. Oh, I want to talk about this belt. The belt is not removable. The vest does not come off. It's very much on there. And the vest is a slightly off color from the original vest. It is a more of a pinkish color when the original vest was a more Labrador color. And I will uh, point that out when I do comparison with the figure. And of course, the La piece of the resistance, the Sky Sled, otherwise known as the Battle Ram. Of course, it is not a complete Battle Ram without the um, piece here, which came with the vintage line, which you would attach. And I might do a vintage review of this. But as you can see, you attach the toy, and they would both attach. And then you would have a figure, of course, writing on here. And we would do this also for comparison time. Focus on the Masters of the Universe Origin Sky Sled, which 
comes with a lot of really neat features. Of course, as I mentioned before, you have these decals on here that aren't just decals, but they're attached to a piece of plastic which is removable. And you can change them out with these to make it the villain's uh, sky sled, which I thought was kind of cool because in the cartoon, the original cartoon, you saw it, uh, you saw both the villains and good guys riding on sky sleds. It comes with this computer dashboard here, which you see like the little dots. Uh, going on here, which is kind of reminiscent of the computer control panel for the vintage toy. However, this one has handles on it, which the original kind of went along with the cartoon where the figure stuck his hands inside these little holes here, and that was the way they operated the sky sled for jet engines there in the back which powers the sky sled you have foot pegs on either side of the vehicle which these new newer figures do have uh, holes so they can stand on either a figure stand or on your vehicle this has a removable head as well in which you have what I think is the the bad guys when you want to uh, turn it into a bad guy sky sled you have this head and it has a firing cannon on here but I'm not sure if this actually um, fires anything although this did come with this and I'm assuming it's a projectile uh, you insert it here let's see what this thing does okay I have it inserted there I'm not sure if this is a play feature or not I don't see any buttons on it whatsoever. Um, uh, let's see. Is there one on the bottom there? No. It doesn't appear to be a projectile, but it is removable. Just remove it there. And of course, now this one comes with this really nice vehicle stand, which you can see this kind of resembles. Um, the planet Eternia's sand dunes and now I will convert this vehicle to the bad guys uh, vehicle you do that is you simply remove the head Oops, sorry you remove the head pop on the bad guys head and then these come off although I'm not sure there's a button there or if they just slide I think this these slide let's see here yeah I think these slide over the top let's see uh, yep it looks like hmm maybe not I think these sides come off you would think that that's how it would work well let me figure it out uh, hold on yeah, they slide out of the panel, and then you just pop these into place here. They pop in. Not really sure how they pop in there. Oh, I got that one back. That's the wrong one. All right. There we go. They just sort of pop into place there. There's that one. Let's see. How did I do that other one? Just sort of take that off. There. Slide this one on. There we go. And now, voila! You have a bad guy sky sled. Put the 2020 Skeletor on there. Let's see. Whoa! Boy, this thing really moves and grooves, don't it? Let's see. 
All right, He-Man, I'm coming for you now. <laughs> the evil Skeletor coming after He-Man. We have it that does it for my Sky Sled review. There isn't really much we could talk about except comparison. We have the Skeletor. Skeletor, what are you doing? Ah, Skeletor, you're riding it like a freaking Brahma bull. There you go. You have the big cannons here. As you do on the original, you can see it only has one big cannon. Um, but this has two cannons. One on that side, one on the other side. And then, of course, you have the big cannon here in front, which the vintage one has as well. And with the vintage one, you only got the good guy uh, thing. But now it is comparison time. Let's compare. We've already compared the vintage toy of the Sky Sled with the vintage toy of the are the um, modern Sky Sled. Now let's compare the Prince Adams. One I have in the package. I still have him in the package. I'll put him over there for now. And this is have the newest Prince Adam. Here is vintage Prince Adam out of the package. You can see him standing side by side. And here's what I'm talking about with the vest. As you can see the different colors. You can really tell the difference between the vintage and the um, modern figure. As the vintage figure has a more darker vest. And kind of wish they would have done that with this one. And when you look at the... Um, Maddie Collectors, I'm not sure what year this came out, but when you look at the Maddie Collectors version, he is much taller than any of those guys. These two are virtually the same size, but this one is twice as big as them, and his vest is actually much darker than the original, and actually his pants are too. Um, he is at least a good maybe two, maybe three inches taller than these uh, Prince Adams. And the swords, I don't have the swords out for review, so I really have no comparison there. Even the shirt that he wears on the outside is really dark, like it's a dark gray, if you will. Um, and meanwhile, the vintage figure has sort of an off-white, while the more modern figure has sort of a bright white. And even, you know, the one I have in the package, you can see the whiteness is still sort of like an off-white. I mean, those figures are over 20 years old. So, over 20, maybe 30 years old, actually. <laughs> this is 2020. Yeah, they would be over 30 maybe 35 years old. The only gripe I really have, the only issue is that there's no place on here to put the sword and you really can't tuck it in this. It's really tight. I really wish they had designed this the same way they designed the back of this He-Man, which I need to snap that back on there, where they put the loop there for the sword sheath for the sword to go like much like this but anyway I digress really do digress these are really good action figures I really do highly recommend them I cannot wait for the second wave to come out and there is one last look at Prince Adam on the sky sled and I, I really think it would be cool if they came out with the back end of this, the uh, second piece, which would be this, the battle ram, the battle ram. I was wondering what I, I forgot that's what that was, part of the battle ram. Anyway, that about does it for this review. And, um...
I really do hope to catch the second wave and I need to go ahead and put my order in for the new Castle Grayskull as soon as possible. Well that does it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it and tell your friends and subscribe for more reviews. And our next review will be the story of the two cats lairs. Until next time, this is Hebro77 saying, Knowing isn't just half the battle, it's the whole damn war. I'll see you next time.